Hello everyone, it's Maria here from pepperlyrose.blogspot.com.au. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in Sydney, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to show you a masculine um, card using the Oh So Eclectic bundle. Um, I love this bundle um, and as because it's so eclectic you can use it on absolutely anything. So the images I'll be using today is this one over here and these little like they look like little crosses. I'll be using that today. I'm also going to be using the thinlets. So I'll show you that as a bundle. Now you can buy these together as a bundle and save 10%. Okay, so you can buy the stamp set and the framelets that go with it. Save 10% or you can buy them separately. Now a lot of these images do coordinate with this but they also coordinate with another stamp set as well and um, I think it's called a, a price, Priceless from memory I'm not sure but the diamonds there's a diamond shape here they they coordinate together and it's a beautiful stamp set as well so I'm going to feature this today I'm going to feature the sweet cupcakes uh, sweet cupcake stamp set and I'm featuring the thanks so much sentiment from this stamp set because I really love the font on this so I'm going to use that today and I'm going to use some wood textures designer series paper and I'm just going to use this one over here and we're also using the classic label punch so we'll get started on our project now this card is a thank you card for a customer of mine and happens to be male so um, I needed to do something that was uh, yeah different um, and I love What's this colour called again? Island Indigo. I really love Island Indigo as a card base and I'm going to put that on top and I think that goes really well together. So what I'm going to do is with my fast fuse is I'm just going to attach this layer on top of that card. Now with this designer series paper you'll notice that one's a bit darker and the one's a little bit lighter so it's really cool that you can use different kind of shades. But um, oh hang on a second maybe I might use the lighter one today. Mm. No, I'll use the darker one. <laughs> um, so I'll just put some fast fuse. Oops. Oh, my fast fuse is going all silly now. Oh. I'll just open it up and see what's happening. Okay, it's kind of gotten off the tracks a little bit. Mm, okay. And there's a bit of... Sometimes it gets all sticky, so it's a good idea to get rid of as much of the stickiness as possible so that it flows freely. So let's just put that on, okay? And, oops, that on there. And one in the middle. So I'll pop this on here. Please excuse the noise outside. You can hear beeping and trucks and what have you. I live in, um, in a suburb in Australia in, uh, four kilometers away from the city so I have the view of the CBD from my place but it is a very busy semi-industrial semi-residential kind of uh, mix and slowly all the industrial um, units and warehouses and factories are all moving away and it's all becoming residential so there's lots of flats and things going up and units and apartments and it's just all crazy so <laughs> excuse the noise okay so we've got this card base now all done and we'll get started with some actual I'm going to do some stamping on this and I'm going to use the crosses so I should have done the stamping before but I'm not going to let it go off the side I'm just going to have it like more central so I'm going to use some early espresso ink and that crosses image and I'm just going to do some random stamping with crosses. So it just adds a bit of um, something to your um, cards. Let's do one here too. And here. Okay, so I just did a little bit of random stamping with that cross because I really like that image. It's so good. And I'll leave that to one side and I'm going to stamp the thanks so much with the Island Indigo ink. So I'll just stamp that. 
Okay. I'll just pop it on here. So I just keep all these strips that I have off. I keep those because they're great for sentiments. So I'll just stamp that with Island Indigo ink. Ah, that didn't work out well. Just keep going until it's good. And do that. Much better. Doesn't matter that it's all crooked because we're going to punch that out now with the classic label punch. So I'll bring that out and see how we can straighten that up so it looks all good. So I'll just even that out, make sure it's the sides are all even. And okay, away we go. So that sentiment's all done. We will be doing some big shot work, so just letting you know. But um, I'm going to stamp a couple of those um, leaves, the images there. So I'm going to use Island Indigo for that. Now, just to let you know, it does have like a watercolour effect, so it's not going to be all even. So that's okay. So I'll just pop that on there. That's beautiful, isn't it? I love stamping like the colour on another colour because it just has a beautiful effect. And why not? I wanted some blue leaves. <laughs> just something different, okay? And I've just decided with the crosses here, I might put another one just up there just to let it finish up a little easier. And then we're going to use the uh, Big Shot to cut out all these things. So I'll just stamp one up here. Okay, that looks good. All right. Okay, I'm back. Thank you so much for your patience. <laughs> I had to erase the memory card because I had too much um, stuff on it and not to get rid of what I've already recorded, I had to upload it onto my computer. So anyway, we were up to just finishing stamping um, these two leaves and what we're going to do next is we're going to um, bring up our big shot, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to cut these leaves out and we're also going to cut out another element from, um, from our die set and I'll show you what they are. So today we're going to use the Big Shot platform along with a thin die adapter and a cutting plate. I'm going to pop these um, leaves on here and I'm going to grab my dies and we're going to cut out these leaves over here. So we'll have to pass it through twice. Okay, so we'll just line this up as well as possible. Okay, we'll put our cutting pad on top. And we'll just run that through the big shot. That's one. Oh, take that out and it cut out beautifully. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? And it doesn't leave a border, which is lovely. Now, sometimes if you lose your dies, look on your plates, because sometimes they stick on. <laughs> okay, the next one, I'm just going to pop that down here too. Just make sure it's all lined up and ready to go. Okay, that looks great. So I'll just pop my cutting plate on top. And I'll run that through the big shot. Okay. So, oh, see, stuck on. Okay, that's come off. And that cut out quite beautifully. That, isn't that beautiful? Love that. Okay, the next element we're going to cut out is uh, this one over here. Oops, now my page is all stuck on there. Okay, oops, I put always put my dies back because I don't want to lose, I'm going to cut out this element here and I'm going to be using early espresso cardstock for that, so I'll just pop this on here, I did it the other way around I think before, that's why this fits a lot better now, beautiful, okay. And I'm going to run that through my big shot. I'm going to do that two times, okay? So, 
whoop, and I'll roll it back again. Okay. I'll just take my big shot away. And I'm going to undo all of that. Oh, that came out pretty easily. And I'm just going to use my dye brush just over the top just to get rid of all of those leftover pieces. I love using my dye brush for intricate pieces. Okay, and I'll just pop this dye back in its place because I don't want to lose it. Okay, and then all I have to do is just cut this out. Now it just leaves like a negative image. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim all around it. It's going to take a while, so I will probably speed this up. Okay, <clears throat> sorry about that. I, I had to cut through all of these pieces and I sped that up for you. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my card base and we're just going to stick that down there. So it just adds a really nice accent. And I don't mind that it has bits that are not complete because, um, yeah, that just adds to the these elements. So I'm just going to grab some of my glue. You can use Tombow or any glue of your choice. And I'm just going to pop this down. Okay, just glue that on. The only things from now on that I'll speed up are things like cutting out. Um, this only took me about two, three minutes, so it didn't take me very long. But I didn't want to bore you with the detail, so I sped it up. And I'm just going to pop this now down. It's down here. Okay, stick that down. And I like how it's got the crosses as a like an accent as well. I really like the way that turned out. Okay, then we're going to grab these two leaves. Just going to stick them down here. So again, I'm just going to add glue just to the bottom two leaves, just towards the center. And I'm just going to glue down, just down the center of these leaves. Okay, so very little glue there. Okay, so that's one here. Like that. I'm keeping it relatively simple because it is for a male. But I really love the oh so eclectic bundle because it just can go with anything. And I just love that. I really do. Okay, just put that up there. I think that's a bit too much glue, so I'll just grab a tissue. And I'm just going to pat that down a little bit. It's too much glue. Way too much glue. Okay. And I'll just pop this over here. Like so. That's looking good. And now with the, sorry, I just moved my table. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the thanks so much just over here. But I'm going to pop that up onto some dimensional. So I'll just grab my dimensionals and I'll put it on here. And I always use up my scraps first. If I've got any off cuts. I'll use that up. So I've got a couple of offcuts here of dimensionals. So it doesn't matter, they don't have to be a particular size. So that's one lot there. I'm going to put another one here, which works out fine. As long as you don't see it from above, that's fine. So I'll just take off the backings. And I'll just pop the thanks so much just down the bottom here and keeping it really really simple so that's the front of the card I really love how that turned out so I'll just show you a close-up of what it looks like see 
love this classic label punch. I only just recently got it <laughs> and, and I love it. I've been using that on a lot of things. Okay, so we'll decorate the inside as well. And I've just got a layering piece of Whisper White cardstock. And we're going to pop that on the inside and I'll just cut it down. So you can use any card base you wish. I use A6 here in Australia. You can do that in the UK as well. I just find it it's a lot easier. And what we're going to do is we're just going to stamp a couple of the images along here. So I'll just grab the back of this dimensional as a um, as a little scrap piece to protect my work surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the little crosses just along the bottom there. And so just to try and finish off this card. Okay, so I'll just do that and that. I think that looks good. And the next image I'm going to stamp now is the leaves. So I'll stamp that once or twice. Okay, so I'll just do that there. And I think that finishes it off beautifully. I think stamping it on the once is plenty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my fast fuse and we're going to pop this on the inside. I think my fast fuse is on the blink. got to really fix this up okay so now that's the inside of the car so we'll just layer it on make sure it's even on all the sides oops okay and that is now my finished thank you masculine card using the oh so eclectic bundle and the sweet cupcake stamp set so I really hope you enjoyed today's project if you have any questions at all please don't hesitate to let me know all these products can be ordered through my online store at pepperlyrose.stampinup.net um, I'd really appreciate your business if you wish to order from me and you can order anywhere in Australia if you wish um, and also if you'd like to join my team this is a great time to join Stampin Up we have a special where um, when you join you can get the brand new Christmas bundle that we've got going on there for details please head on to my online store at pepperlyrose.stampinup.net thank you all so much for joining me I hope you enjoyed today's project and as I said, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave me um, comments below this video or you can contact me through my online store and use the contact me section and you can fill out a little form and that it will be emailed directly to me. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.